That's what's gonna happen. Sean, do you think actually that's actually the key for Tyson Fury to win the fight? Because I noticed that uh, Deontay Wilder, when, when he knocks out opponents, he has his legs stretched out so he could get all that power stretching coming from the back. Do you think Tyson going inside that elim eliminates those spread the feet to yeah, get that knockdown? Yeah. I love that. I love the fact that he, uh, even if, uh, at least he said it. Said it means he's at least thinking about it. I think he definitely needs to consider being on the inside of Deontay Wilder. Not the entire fight, but right. just in different points of the fight. See, the thing is, when, you, when you're able to change the level of the game, you're able to become unpredictable, and you're, and you're able to make that fighter s start to think and start to hesitate. Yeah. And I think if he's able to get Deontay Wilder to do that, he may he may be going on to something winning this fight. Because I noticed that Wilder throws those wide lunging punches when he's in the inside, he usually does not connect with those fights that's punches. The, and that's the thing about this fight with Deontay. If you're close to Deontay, he's going to let his hands go. Right. But, you know, in the first one, we had Tyson Fury moving a lot. We had Tyson Fury using his head, and then he was putting his hands down, doing a lot of this. And it, it, and it really had uh, Deontay, for a lot of the fight, he was being very hesitant. And then he just started swinging for the fences. Best thing so. Deontay could do, jab, jab, jab some more. Instead of listening to the taunts, shoot a straight punch down the middle. You think, work but do you think that Deontay Wilder is all set with his skills? That he's actually going to actually bring something new to the table and try to beat he, time? He can and he should. Yes, he can and he should. Uh, it's never too late to improve. I'm, I'm trying to improve every fight that I, that I have, every training camp that I have. Um, we're up here right now talking about what, what Deontay Wilder doesn't do, but we're all saying it's something that he should do. Mm. Uh, he is more than capable, unbelievable athlete. He's not just a big power punching heavyweight. He's an unbelievable athlete. Played basketball growing up. He's fast, he's quick, and he has that eye. He has that, that killer instinct, and I think that that is definitely gonna come in, into play in this fight.